All right, so today we're going to do a comparison between the Kirkland Espresso Blend and the Kirkland House Blend. Uh, they're both roasted by Starbucks, whatever that means exactly, and sold at Costco. Really good deal. You get these two-pound bags for $9.99, and that's a regular price. That's not even on sale, so it's definitely a value. I'm using this Breville Smart Grinder Pro that sets on the coarsest espresso setting, which is 30, and then the uh, time for a double shot is 13.8 seconds. Today I am using my DeLonghi Dedica espresso maker. It's not the best, it's a pressurized one, if anyone knows what that means, but hey, it gets the job done, it's nice and slim, and Kind of matches the aesthetic of just this general little coffee area I have here in my house. See a decent amount of crema on it. Okay, looking pretty good. Now for the taste test. Better wait for it to finish dripping. That's good. Oh, that's pretty good. Now, again, this is a Starbucks espresso. Um, I have it on basically the coarsest this grind espresso setting on this uh, Breville Smart Grinder Pro, and it's this guy here. Let's give it a taste. It's okay. It's not too bad. It's it's a little rough, but still fairly smooth. Kind of get a little bit of that chocolatey taste. Um, kind of what dark coffee tastes like, except it's espresso, so of course it's concentrated. Now let's try this one. All right, so next up is this uh, Kirkland House Blend. Here we go. Again, this... that out now let's give it a tamp might be kind of hard to do one-handed but I'm gonna do it the same yeah it is all right well not the best tamp in the world but it's a tamp so here we go again doing this one-handed all right, so that's in there. I'll get this espresso cup. And again, double shot. Looks a little uh, lighter, kind of a golden color. You can tell that off the bat. But it is a lighter blend. All right, as you can tell. It's actually pretty dark as well. It's a little lighter than the um, espresso blend, but pretty dark in itself. Good crema on both. Let's give this a taste. Okay, this is uh, 
definitely lighter, obviously, because it's a medium blend, but um, I would say smoother as well. Doesn't have as bitter of an aftertaste. So I would go with this. If I had a choice of this espresso blend or this house blend, I think I'd prefer the house just because it's not as intense. This guy won't leave me alone. Um, I think I would ex uh, prefer the uh, house blend. Just It's not as intense, but it's definitely still not a light blend. It's a good blend uh, mix, I guess you could say. Let's compare the two. My phone out of the way. There on the right is the Kirkland House Blend. And then on the left is the Espresso. They're both pretty close. As you can see. But taste-wise, definitely this guy is a lot more potent. Thanks, and uh, tune in next time.